Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Pictures so perfect we play Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. How to make Nigeria work. It's quite interesting. On the topic of the day, how to make Nigeria work, it's quite interesting. Uh, it, it, when I set up the 2014 National Dialogue, the key thing is how to make Nigeria work. Though we did not emphasize that so that people will really discuss the country. If you read through what people comment, a number of people say, yes, we are a country because we have, it's a defined geographical area. You can draw the map of Nigeria. We have our beacons that define the space, so that's we are a country. But some people say, we are a country, we are a state, because we have laws guiding the activities of human beings living in this defined area. But that we are not a nation. Well, I will be happy to listen to the discussions and uh, the keynote speaker. We will be able to convince us whether we are a state or we are a nation. And if we are a country and we are a state, how do we become a nation? I know as a person, I wouldn't want to go in too deep into this topic. I just left office so that we will not begin to query me in so many ways. I know as a person that I, when the North and South were amalgamated, 1914 by Lord Lugard, probably the beginning, that formation period from 1914 till the early elections, party formations and independent struggles and our uh, uh, political parties, I'm not blaming our forefathers, but we fail to integrate us into a proper nation. We operated as individuals, interests, and so on. And of course, if, you, uh, if you've read some of the comments of our former leaders, of course, I will all made it very clear that there is no nation called Nigeria. It's, yes, it's a geographical entity, it's a country, it's a state that's lost, but there is no nation. The country was so polarized even at that beginning, especially during the early political party formations. And the parties were regional parties. There was no sense of commitment to integrate Nigeria into an entity that you can say, yes, we have a nation with common interests, common philosophy, and people will be patriotic to that nation. Most of the parties belong to regions. Then there were some alliances for the purpose of ruling the country. And always when I compare Nigeria and country like Tanzania, incidentally I'm going to Dar es Salaam tomorrow, I feel that Julius Nyerere is so celebrated. He, he made, he, his own vision then was to make Tanzania a nation. Yes, they have uh, different tribes, maybe not as many as Nigeria, but they claim that they Probably they have the same, but I'm not sure they have the same. They have two major religions, Christianity and Islam. It's almost 50-50. Zanzibar is almost 90% are Muslims. It's a major part of uh, Tanzania. You really felt that, look, if I go through multi-party, 
That is philosophy. I'm not saying multi-party is the best for Nigeria now or at that time. I'm just saying what leaders do to create nations. He say, if I go multi-party, the parties may take regional cleavages or uh, 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 regional cleavages or uh, uh, go into religious cleavages. Maybe you have a Christian party, a Muslim party, or one section and so on. And that when we go that way, they will have problems. The country will be divided and that sense of nationality or nationality will be weak. That's why he advocated for one party. Late can account that did the same thing in Zambia. They advocated for one party to unite the people first. That's the beginning of their independence. And that thing he really did was they selected the language that is presently is Pan East Africa, but as at that time it was not even a Pan East Africa. The Swahili. I was told this last time that I, I, I went to um, uh, 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 Zimbabwe for their elections. But actually, well, I discussed with somebody, one scholar. They were saying actually that, um, oh, no, in fact, when I went, I went to uh, Uganda, that actually the Swahili is a language that was spoken by not a majority tribe, but somehow people like here repeat it and made it a national language. And as at that time it was easier because people were not so wise. Like now people would begin to question. I wanted to do a similar thing in Bayelsa City when I was the governor, but I didn't stay long. People begin to challenge you and make sure that every person from Tanzania speaks that language. Those who go to school, their primary school, their secondary schools, tertiary school, in fact, they quickly and make education almost compulsory as at that time. So you hardly see somebody who didn't get at least the basic, uh, what we call the, um, the first nine years of second and, and school education. And, but then at that level you communicate in Swahili. So he brought that language and the issue of one party system to bind a country that yes, they have different tribes that begin to feel that they belong to one nation. I believe, yes, we lost it at the formative years that could have been the easiest time but for those who participated in the national conference, the 2014 national conference, if they are here and they are part of the discussion, they will tell us some of the issues they brought up. I we believe if we practice and follow our steps over the period, we will not say we, are a, we have a country called Nigeria, we will not say we have a state called Nigeria, we will also say we have a nation called Nigeria. I want to tell you the truth that even Jonathan cannot tell you. Number one is that do you know that Nigeria is never created to succeed? Nigeria is not designed to succeed and it must not succeed. In short, Nigeria is designed never to succeed and it must not succeed. Because the day Nigeria succeeds, the creator will suffer. The same way Africa is created generally, they are created to favor the creators. You understand? That is the same way Nigeria is created to favor the creator. So Nigeria is not created to for the sake of its own people. It's created for the sake of the people that created it. You know, just, and it's normal. The same way God created the world and asked everybody to worship him. That's the way our creators created us, to always worship them, whether you like it or not. That is why you can run to their embassies to queue and beg for visa so that you can go there and you feel that is heaven. But you don't know that the money they used to pay you when you go there to work is made from your country. I will open your eyes. <laughs> Most of you don't know that 60% or many, let me not say 60, let me say many of the things you use at home are made by British governments. The company that makes those stuff, including your Omo, Omo the company that makes it is called Unilever. And that company reported over 60 billion pounds in revenue to the British government last year, only in one year, over 60 billion pounds. You also don't know that most of your oil fields is controlled by Shell. 
and the total money share reported to Nigeria, gave to Nigeria in royalties and tax and everything last year was just $1.3 billion. Just $1.3 billion, a whole share. Ladies and gentlemen, good day, my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, anointed lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, good day my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, anointed lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, good day my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, anointed lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, good day my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, anointed lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about. I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all.